Well, it's the last day of the last work week. Here we go. Hi, I'm Steve. As 2020 rocked the world, I decided my life needed a shakeup, and so I started teaching myself to paint on YouTube. I left my dream job and moved across the country to the mountains. At a mile high, Leaf, South Dakota is an old mining town going through an exciting revitalization spurred by scientific exploration and technology, research, and development. I'm here to simplify life, explore new passions, and reconnect with what's most important. I don't exactly know what lies ahead, but I do know there's sure to be plenty to see and learn. Join me on this grand adventure. So we're wrapping up this week with a farewell to the community, a uh, little happy hour get together. Um, so headed over there, it's a few blocks from my house. Can't wait to see everyone. This will be kind of our first social event since COVID hit. Um, ends up being a goodbye as well, but looking forward to seeing friends and colleagues uh, from the Little Rock community. Morning, y'all. It's the last day of my last week um, of school responsibilities so graduation is in a couple of hours so i guess it's time to get up and get going last night had an amazing time with friends here little rock is the best community um and i appreciate each of you that showed up um to bid me au revoir um it was wonderful to see people in person again after almost probably two years since I've seen most of the friends that came out from the community and uh, had a great time just visiting and um, reconnecting and really hard to really hard to leave. But Arkansas has a way of pulling you back, so I'm sure um, I'm going to stay connected here. All right, let's go graduation calls so i'm about to head out to graduation one last chore is to get the regalia on and make sure it all looks great this is the first year since i got my master's degree so i have a brand new hood and a brand new color because it's a different degree so excited to get this on it's kind of silly the trappings of these things because i don't like I never planned to have a master's degree or these things, but oh well. Once you do the work, it's like you might as well enjoy the trappings of the regalia. It's kind of ridiculous though, but that's all right. It's one day a year and this is the last chance I have. I did not march in my own master's graduation, so... Um, this is the last chance I probably will have to ever wear this regalia, which is just fine with me. All right, Ooh, so we have that. Now, if I remember right, we have to do, let's see, this goes over the neck and then this, I believe, is turned and folded so the colors are visible. So, let's see. Y'all probably know the proper protocol. Fortunately, we are marching in procession, so everybody always looks after the person in front of them to make sure their um, hood is looks correct so all right let's see there we go that keeps it in shape hmm what how's it look y'all i'm a master master of communications or media management and i get extra long sleeves this year. It's nice because these are little pockets you can put 
snacks and treats and your phone in for the long or not processional but the long uh, ceremony that's the word I was looking for okay front of the okay there we go I think and I'm graduated so I think it goes on this side all right all right we are good this looks good we're ready to go so we will get on the road and get down to hot springs which is like an hour away all right all right let's go i will see you guys in hot springs Well, we made it, let's go. Y'all, I messed up really bad. I got all the way here, it's an hour drive, and realized I did not bring my mortarboard. Ugh, I can't believe it. Oh well, here we go. About to march in, here comes Pomp and Circumstance. So we made it through, uh, we're done, um, bittersweet, I'm kind of in all the feels right now. Um, I got to see a lot of my former students uh, who had returned after their first year of college for graduation uh, this year, um, and then the students of course graduating this year, and I'm not a dad, but this is I think as, as close as someone can get. Um, God, I'm so proud of these kids and um, I get emotional. Uh, it's crazy to love somebody else's kids and, and want so bad for the best for them. Jeez. There's so much potential and so much opportunity ahead of them and so much ambition and drive and it's just inspiring uh wow but yeah anyway i guess everybody feels that way kind of around graduation it's that time of year a commencement but uh this has been a hard one for all of us as educators my colleagues i've worked with the most amazing professionals we've gone through a lot on our campus uh, with the passing of one of our dear colleagues and um of course trying to keep us all safe through COVID, which we were able to do uh, just through some really fastidious uh, precautions and care um, and, and being mindful that we're all one learning community. But uh, I'm, 
proud of the students. I'm proud of us, my colleagues, myself, proud of what we did together um, and the perseverance that we um, that we deployed over the last year. So yeah, those are my thoughts for this year. Um, I'm headed back to Little Rock. It's another hour back to Little Rock. And then um, I am going to a game night tonight with uh, my now former supervisor who's become a good friend. And I'm excited just to kind of relax a little bit with some friends and uh, close out the week. So um, I guess that's going to be it for this video, but I will catch you in the next video.